Hello everyone. Greetings from Pravega Education. So students, in this video, I am just going to do the comparative analysis of uh, last two paper of CSIR net. One is uh, from December 2023 and another is from this year paper that is June 2024, which was delayed up to July. So that exam was held into the July. And also I will discuss uh, whether when you should start your preparation and all about your our new batches into the month of August. So students, a lot of students have asked, is just uh, asking me that, uh, sir, what should be cut off of uh, this, uh, e this examination? And uh, whether we should start preparation again or what we should do? So in general, students, we are not uh, giving the number for the cutoff, it is very immature thing. But we can just tell you which type of paper is there and I can just give you some rough estimation. We cannot uh, uh, give you 100 with 100% uh, confidence, but we can just give you with the some 80% confidence with some rough uh, estimation that uh, the range, this range may be the threshold. That is, that should be the cutoff marks. So, but the most important thing is that we have to do the comparative analysis between these two papers. This is more important for your learning point of view as well as your preparation point of view. So, what we have, we have a December 2023 and we have June 2024. The first thing what I have seen into the December 2023 paper, it is a more towards research based question. A research based question. Based question. But here, this paper was more and more test book based question. What is the meaning of that? Meaning of that, if you will see this question, obviously every question have the concept of the test book, but your analysis and calculation have need some research acumen. That means you have to just uh, uh, do some a long calculation and after doing calculation you have to just manipulate that calculation and then you will reach the answer. This type of question was there. But in this paper the calculation was almost straightforward, almost straightforward. Only what you need, you need to know the concept and basic formula. But here with the help of basic formula you cannot do more than 20% question. But here with the help of basic formula you can do at least 40% question in a very nice way. And second thing is that lengthy calculation was there. So this is your first point. So this is your first point. The second point is, and second point for this paper is very simple calculation. Very simple calculation. So almost in each and every question you have to just do two and three line calculation and you can get the answer. But in the last paper of December 2023, the calculation was really lengthy. And third is no trick or shortcut. But here you can apply the trick. One can apply a conceptual trick. One can apply the conceptual trick. And fourth is that time management into this paper was uh, more or less easy. Why? Because you know that this question you can do and you cannot do. This, the question was exactly black and white form, so that you can easily pick the easy question or you can just focus on that thing. So for my point of view, the time management was easy. But in this paper, hence each and every question you can 
you can do and you can attempt it. You will see the question and you will find, okay, I can do it. So it is very difficult to manage the time because you will always in a hurry. Whenever paper is little bit easy, then a student will always try to do more and more question and they will in hurry. So difficult to time management. And last, this is very important, less chance to negative marks. Chance to negative marks. And here you can say there are more chance to negative marks. So students, these are the difference between this. Why this year is less chance to negative marks? Because again, I am going to the same logic. If you will see 10 question, and out of five question, you can just say that, okay, I cannot do this thing. So you will just leave it, and you will focus on rest of five question. But if you will see the all the 10 question, then what will happen? You will just try it, and you know all these 10 question. Then what you will do? You will just try to... Uh, push yourself very hard and then that there are chance to do the error. So this is very important thing from the examination point of view. So students, last year, the last examination cut up was for the general student is almost 43%, 43 or 44%, this was the cut off. So what should be cut off right now in this particular thing? So you can think yourself, if you will see the thing very superficially, just you will see the paper and the solution and you can see that we are just uploading the solution in every day. Then you can solution and you can see the solution then you can find okay this paper is quite easy. So paper the cut up should be 120 and something like this. But look at these two points. It is very important for the examination point of view. The examination point of view these two, these three points rather are very important. Why? Because in the examination pressure, it is very difficult to apply the tricks. It is very difficult to apply the tricks. And if you are applying the trick, whether this trick will work or not, that is also a big question. So here you will find this will always, this is always a big thing for the examination point of view. And second thing from the examination point of view, then if the paper is something like that, that you can attempt each and every question, then chance of error is always there. The chance of error will be increased. So chance of cut-off marks will be increased. I have seen a lot of person that they have attempted the 100 question, 110 marks question, and they are getting 40 marks, 50 marks, 60 marks, something like this. But here we have seen that they have attempted 80 marks and they are getting 60 marks. So this type of thing is there. So whether in this 23 paper you can attempt less question but negative marks will be also less but here the negative marks will be increased so from my point of view and our team whatever we have uh, analyzed the paper the paper was easy but not so easy from the examination point of view such that you can get 110 110 and 120 marks that is not going to happen yes some student can get all always this particular marks so what should be the threshold band? I cannot say exactly one number. From my point of view, the threshold band is all about 45% to 50%. This is your threshold band. That means what you can see, you can, or 50% is a little bit higher. You can say that 45 and 48%. 45 and 48 percent will be the threshold band of the selection and obviously if you are getting the 90 marks you have to just cross your finger that whether you can in or you can out from the one or two marks that is that can be the scenario into this paper so let's see what is going to happen and i am saying this thing with not a full confidence rather i am saying this thing with a 75 percent confidence so this is the first part of the comparative analysis and students so what you should do and how you should go ahead into your next preparation. If you are, if you are just going to plan for December batch and you are just giving this examination but you are not getting the desired result, then obviously we have a batch on the 22nd August which is the evening online batches 
and uh, 26 August is the offline as well as morning online batches. So this is the batch, but I will suggest the student who are just going to give the gate examination into 25, then this batch is one of the suitable batch. Because what will happen if you will not selected into this examination, or suppose you have not enough time to prepare for the December examination, then obviously the whole year is going to be wasted. So it is much better that you should focus on the gate examination and you can at least secure one particular result and you can just go one step ahead into your career. But the second thing is very important. I am just going to suggest for those students who are into the first year of your, their master or second year of their master, they have to just start their preparation. They have to just start their preparation and focus on to the gate 25 as well as net June 25 as well as December 25. It's up to you which exam you are just going to make your target according to your uh, just uh, uh, according to your schedule, according to your program, according to your uh, career program. So you have to just focus on this. So just remember all these date, 22 August and 26 August are the date. According to your plan, you can just enroll into this thing. Pravega Education always suggests student that you should start your preparation as soon as possible such that you can revise it properly such that you can always just try to make your mental health as well as physical health into good condition and you can select your examination also in a very lucid manner. So students, you can just see this number. So this number is 8920759559. You can call to this number and you can get suggestion what you should do as well as you can just uh, visit to our website pravega.com and you can also just uh, inquire us with uh, different batches, different consultancy and all this thing. So thank you students, just see this video and uh, just plan your next phase of preparation. If uh, your exam is not good for, uh, you, you, if you are not performed very nicely into last exam, so don't get disheartened, there is always a next time and you should start afresh into from this particular batch. You can repeat your class if you have done your coaching. If you are just afresh, then you can start uh, your journey now. Thank you.